Hi, my name is Shaina and I'm a student at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. As I set out to explore the different ways people spend time with God, I've learned that God meets us in these spaces and times in a lot of different ways. Quiet times are different for everyone because of our unique relationships with Him, and there is no one right way to have one. If you often feel bored or get easily distracted while doing quiet times like I do, you are not alone. If you're new to quiet times, struggle with the idea, or want to explore something new, come along with me on this journey to hear about different ways people spend their quiet times. My name is Kadrian. I'm a video producer and a project manager. I've been exploring quiet times for 10 years. God to me is the ultimate creator the one who is the maker of all things. God has shown me that he honors my wonder towards him and invites my questions. For my quiet time, I practice daydreaming. This time is motivated by the desire to sit and praise the one whose words brought life to things that has been created. As a creative, I find that spending time reading scripture, then daydreaming about it, pushes my heart to appreciate the handiwork of God. This space has been so life-giving and a space where I can actively allow God to speak into my daydreaming and wonder. My name is Matt and I'm the supervising video producer for InterVarsity. I've been exploring quiet times for about 25 years or so. My quiet times take many forms, but lately I've been exploring this idea of God as my father king turning it over in my mind as I go for walks around the block or at a local park. I recently lost my earthly father, and I have people in my life struggling with mental instability. This causes me to have a lot of confusing emotions and deeper questions in my head, and my father king meets me there. When I feel insecure, I take comfort in knowing that he cherishes me, that he wants to spend time with me, and that he wants to minister to me where I am. Being out in nature reminds me that my Father King is the creator, sustainer, and author of life. This pushes me to worship. At the end of my walks, I journal. As an external processor, this helps me solidify the details of what God has been working on in my own head. Sometimes it's writing down the glory that I've seen, and others it's ranting and raving at the seemingly hopeless situation I find myself in. Either way, I know my Father King is with me through it all. My name is Maddie. I'm a student at Arizona State University studying graphic design, and I've been exploring quiet times for about two and a half years. While I love to start my day with quiet times, I often end up squeezing them in whenever I can. Personally, I like to process what I'm reading by journaling. First, I write down direct quotes from scripture that stand out to me, and then I journal about it. I like to think about how God's character is being displayed and what he might be saying to me. I find that quiet times where I really slow down are the most refreshing and life-giving. I consider how all of these things change the way that I live my life. I think finding ways to apply what God reveals to me in these quiet moments help me to daily walk with Him. I think about how my current circumstances are being shaped by God and how I can act in the future to honor Him. My name is Jason, and I'm a vice president with InterVarsity. I've been practicing quiet times for over 40 years, but often I feel like I'm still experimenting, making new beginnings. God, to me, is the creator of all things, an inviting triune fellowship of divine love. In my morning quiet time, I start by not engaging with news or social media or anything else but going straight to prayer. With a cup of good hot tea, I quietly open myself to the love of God. Then I spend some time in scripture, specifically in the morning in the Psalms, the Psalms that always teach me how to pray. And then with journal in hand, I can pray about the concerns of my day, setting my will to follow him, seek him, and trust him. 
most days this kind of quiet time sets me on a path toward growing in God's love and grace and justice. <laughs>